Hello friends, and here we are for week three of the GR Cup. I had to correct myself from the last race. The last race I said last week the Clio Cup was the most watched. I either checked back and it wasn't. It was the first race of the GR Cup. So uh, this series is extremely popular, even, if, even though it's in its second season. About 173 people signed up for this split. Not as many as last week. The Limerick Park, probably because of the track here. Free track, uh, but this is much more difficult to drive around. We are car four of 20. I'm not sure we're going to be able to achieve what we did last week. That would be a bit hard. Uh, slightly stronger strength of the field, maybe. Actually, I don't know who's the last. 20 car is 1.5. So. A wider split, let's say that. Now, anyway, we want to go out and qualify. Uh, see what, what our pace is compared to everyone. Uh, let's not get a black flag. I hate it. Put this so far away from the pit exit. I have done one race here before, but I think that was in the week 13 the build when this car came out and it ended pretty quickly on the start finish <laughs> straight I, I didn't upload that uh, video the track was new the car was new very bumpy in this car that car is bumpy in most cars So I was using the active reset in practice, try and practice sections. Here you're going to lose a lot of time on this hairpin. If you go too far wide, that's a bit wide. And slow off the corner. You need to do better in our actual Q laps. Yeah, I think I do have a habit of dying here, so Let's see if we can straighten up this approach. Try and long okay. the straight as well. Carry the time. Uh, I've got me all time best up there. See if we can hit that. Although that was set in a practice session where the track was probably very well rubbed in. So I'm not sure it's possible, but. First couple of corners are better. Really the key is this corner coming up. I'm trying to drive it as safely as possible. I've got to change up and fit from the straight, so that cost us a bit of time. Delaying the change down to second to this corner. Ah, oh, we ran wide there. Ah, uh, pushing wide a bit. And this is a tricky little corner. Taking it easy through there. Could have maybe taken more curb. You lose a lot of time in that last corner as well, which I did on my best lap. So I'm not surprised we put an even better lap in there. Let's see if we can go better this corner here. So we're third at the moment. But we are car four. Not too bad. Didn't really gain anything though. No. 
really have to be careful with slowdowns around here, it can cost you loads of time. I feel like I can drive it in harder there, but every time I do in the hairpin, just run wide. It doesn't feel like the tyres are working as much as they are in other corners, but maybe because it's a slow corner. I haven't really followed anyone's quick, so I don't know if I'm missing out on something. We'll straight line it as we are on a better lap. Might get us on the front row, does it? No. Oh, we just miss out to another Russell, a Mr. Russell. Marcus Russell. Well, that's quite. We could be in for a good race here if we can set at the same time. Well, within a tenth of the top three at the moment. And I think the two, he's got a high safety rating. So, although he's only a C. So is that roughly my safety rating? And the other one's a D. But... Yeah, it could be an interesting race. Then behind us, the next uh, four are all six tenths down. So, uh, could be quite a, an even race. Let's put the times up there. Just finish my Coke. Hopefully, this is a more competitive race than the race yesterday. Um, <clears throat> we need to be able to hit a good lap though consistently I don't think I've quite got the consistency here not unlike at Lime Rock Park uh, but I'm happy with that uh, low numbers that haven't qualified we got the six who we got uh, oh the two did get a 1x we're waiting for the 5 13 oh, the 20 not here anyway so a few people, yeah, there's a few spins here, the 10. Uh, what about 17? He's got zero. Oh, he's got a high ping. He's from, from Africa, uh, the 17. So if we are, if we do get in the battle him, we're going to have to be careful. No one with quality issues. Look at Mr. Anthony here. Oh, Anthony, he's, uh, has a few of a ping, ping of only 33. Oh. Looks like Stefan is about to drop out, maybe. So, aims, I think I can't really set an aim because I don't know if I'm going to get to the end of it. Shows my only finish here is 17th. So that, that is very possible. Uh, yeah, I reckon Christopher, he's new. He's, if he's in Division 7, probably first season out of rookies. Uh, so if we are in a race, we might be able to pressure him a bit. Although he has got three wins here this week. Anyways, grid up. Is it going to allow me to grid up? There we go. One to go. Next time by, line yeah. up on the left side. We've so, got plenty of fuel to finish the race. Pit road I is closed right There's now. There's Christopher. Oh, no, that's the two. That's Marcus. Here's Christopher in a sort of like teal colour. We'd be starting behind him, so at least we might be able to get a jump on. Marcus, but we might not be quick enough to cat keep up. I think the main thing is not to lose any positions. Although being wrecked here, first corner and the downhill section, you know, going probably could very well be too wide. Yeah, the first lap is just full of danger. <laughs> full of danger. Well, I imagine the time is going to go all the way down, as the 20 wasn't here. Let's hope he's not tanking his eye rating, making everyone wait. It's most annoying. But, well, it looks like the time's up. We'll have a session best lap up. I'm quite happy to hit my personal best in qualifying, though. So if we take anything away from this race, it's that. We got a good lap in in qualifying. <laughs> uh, so that's 
two weeks in a row now in this car. Well, on my second attempt. Now the two's blinking out. Try and get some warmth in these tyres. He's being very close to the pace car. I'd like to try and keep a distance to the pace car. And everyone, you know, uh, on the start, if you give yourself a lot of room, then it gives you a greater ability of when you can start, greater window of being able to start. If you're too close to the pace car too early on, then the whole field can get bunched up if you're slowing down. Looks like it's an 80 mile an hour pace car, so we know we can start in first. But now it's going slower. Now he's backing everyone up. Now it's getting obvious. Can you get ready? Going green. Yeah, this is a bit ridiculous. Isn't it? The pace car is off. Be ready. That was maybe going a bit too slow. Well, we'll keep this position. Should let him back in. to be in this position. Hopefully we didn't damage the car, hopefully we didn't damage his car. Doesn't want to turn. I don't know how I'm one second ahead. Didn't really drive that well. Maybe the pressure one, got to him, but he's won three races, so he thought it. I did sort of land it on him, but I didn't. Re I had to get up inside. Looked like he was going out to the left. Oh. 
patient in that corner. I haven't really done a long run. As I was doing a lot of active resets. Too slow. He looks like he's now holding everyone up. Christopher. One minute thirty four point five four two. So it looks like it's going to be 10 lap race, maybe 11 laps. That changed down way too early there. We don't know how Christopher won these three races. It may be that he didn't do it from pole position. One minute thirty-four point two two seven. I still see it in my rear mirror. Five seconds, eh? That's a big surprise. I just need to make sure I don't make a mistake. Lost half a second somehow on this lap. Still lined up behind him. a very good video earlier today about vision and it was a good route oh, that was terrible <laughs> start talking and I go to throw time away it was just a good reminder for me about where I should be keeping my eyes I 
very much concentrate on apexes and forget to look at exits, I think. So I'm trying to work on that. It's difficult on that corner. <laughs> you can't see uh, the exit. But, uh, someone just got accused of being Verstappen, I mean, the comment so. I'm confused how someone can put it on pole. And then be so slow. Actually, no, he's not there anymore, he's gone. Something's happened. We've now got the three. I don't know where he qualified. Does change it into second, does give a lot of rotation that corner. So we're now looking at Daniel in the three. Eight seconds back. Oh, we know we can't trust race steps nowadays. down too early. Uh, it looks like he's gained a little bit. I mean, we, that was a slow lap from One me. Just out wide a little bit. Second turn. Okay, so Daniel's up four positions. So he was one of the ones that qualified six tenths slow than us. Best up is about two tenths slower than our pole. But lap, so if we're four tenths under, I think we should be all right. Plus we've got eight seconds to play with. about the same now. Daniel's also putting a gap into the 11 and the 5. We've probably got the uh, that terrible race from yesterday in the Clio Cup to thank for putting us in the split. We've probably been in the split above this one. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's not been so bad. But we blame the race suit. Partly my fault for being so slow. Still not saying the Rex were my fault. One good thing though, it, uh, if we win this race, I probably won't have to run it again. I did have the feeling that I want to run the Clio race again. But I think maybe I won't. I do need to improve at the Clio. It does seem like once I can get a handle on that car, it will be fun. 
think Daniel has made a mistake on that lap. Now 10 One seconds behind. There's probably something about it being Monza draft track. Probably would have been better starting out the back rather than qualifying and some quick guy be behind us. This also means that this car is quickly becoming... <laughs> well, well, we'll see what the points are. Oh, that was terrible, that was. Uh, let's not count my chickens before they've hatched. White flag, nice and smooth. Okay, so we are getting the last lap now. We're on the cusp of doing another lap. And maybe had I put lots of quick claps in, we would have done that. This has turned out to be more comfortable than Nine Rock Park. And I really wasn't expecting that. Uh, but what? Well, well, something's happened to Daniel, he's been passed by the 11, by Stephen. What is with this corner, I think it's timing the gear, gear shift down correctly. Also, just reducing the speed gradually. Someone's been off there. Looks like one mad battle for a second. If race laps is to believe. Yeah, it was insane. Counting chickens and that. If we get a good point score here, it does mean that this is becoming the main car of the season. The one that I'm competing in the most, or the best. So I'm going to have to make sure I've Increase my effort probably going forward. The circuit's coming up. And there we have it. We'll drive over here, we'll wave to the pit crew. And uh, yeah, good form at the moment, aren't I? Especially in this car. You won. All right. And a 0x race as well around here, so that's something unique. <laughs> I think most of my races are around here. I think all of them have had some sort of incident. Including, makes up for my first ever race here in this car where I got wrecked out on the start because it was a standing start back then uh yeah uh, I don't know where where's Christopher he's down in night I, I don't understand that did he I mean let's have a look he crosses the line now I only put one lap in in qualifying I think. Anyway, let's have a look at the start. This was good practice actually for me. Right behind him. I mean, I think I could have reacted slightly better. But the reaction was better than the two, obviously. Oh, sadly, the two was down in 19, so I don't know what happened there. He obviously crashed out. Third through here, and then changed to second here to get a good drive out the corner. And we, for some reason, we got a good drive, and he must have known that. He went all the way over to the right to defend. I wasn't really trying to battle.
Yeah, a bit of contact there. It sort of pushed him out wide. I mean, you see what? I was already aiming for there. So I had to get past. I didn't mean to get that much contact. He started to rotate in towards us, but didn't look like it damaged him. I don't know why my car looks so dark. <laughs> oh, there you go. Just the sun not on it. It's getting the lines all wrong here. Is it just me in qualifying? Huh? Yeah. And that, that was the race. I don't know what it means. No, it looks like Christopher dive bombed someone. Uh... We leave them arguing. Let's have a look. Any wrecks before this? Anyone before that? No. Oh, there was this one. No, there's one before that, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is on the pace that this guy's thinking. That's why. So here, it looks like at the back, because everyone has not painted their car. Well, not at the very back. Yeah, that's a bit harsh on the 15, the 14. It's cut back. Uh, just a race instance. Incidents. Car shouldn't really react going off at that sort of hit. Tell you're going to blink again. 16. Just a tiny tap. They make it work, that's good. It's very wide, that is. 10 gets underneath. At the same time, we have the two. Oh, okay, so this is what happened to Marcus. We couldn't make it a Russell 1 2. Wheels on the grass. Very easy to do that. Then we've got the six. Oh, there's cars all over the place, but sure we had that scheme last week, didn't we? This slippery. Not the same driver though. Oh, okay. So this is the 13, but the 12 loses it here. As he loses it, oh, it looks like just maybe broke too much. Downshift as well. Looks like everyone gets four pass, okay. But the 13 is not expecting the 19 to be there. And a bit of a touch, I, I've done that in other cars. It's difficult, you put it up the inside because there is a big gap. They don't really know about it. But they're already aiming to t cut it back. Just something to be mindful of. 10 slowing down there and blinking. 10 again, you're going to blink, aren't you? Is the one. There's a lot of action. Oh. Two at the back of the field. I think that was a, this was a bit naughty. You can't do that. It's always going to turn in. <laughs> at the same time, the guy over here, the 16. Oh, that's definitely a slowdown. You would have got a slowdown for that. And the grass spun him off. Thankfully, they crashed behind him so he could come back on. He's going out, out wide to clear the so down. 10, you're going to spin? Just blink. Just blink. 10 again on the 19. Okay. Fair play. It works. Like a Force India scheme that was. That's the 9. 10 again. Still battling with the 19. That was the dive bomb that Christopher was being accused of for 17. I don't know. It depends, doesn't it? What your perspective is. The seven knows it's coming. He's over to the right to defend it. He knows it's coming. 
Uh, so, yeah, look at that gap. It is a bit of a big gap. It's a bit naughty of him to do that. But at the same time, maybe he's got another. Is, is he going to go back? Oh, and then he spins out. I mean, had you just let him have it and put the pressure on, let him have the dive bomb, get him behind, put the pressure on, he would probably have done that. And you would have had the place instead of losing quite a few. Look, <laughs> cars all over the place up here. We missed out on some race behind us. Here's a 15. Did uh, another car did a similar thing as we. Oh, 16 wheels on the grass. This race. Oh, these. Yeah. Two didn't deserve. I know two made a mistake early in the race. Waiting someone. Doesn't deserve that. Look at your relative people. This car's coming, you've got to wait. You made a mistake. We did well not to flip over there. Ah, but seriously damaged. Really crabbing. Here's the one. Oh, it is. He is going around. I thought he saved it for a second there. Sixteen? I don't know where the sixteen lost his bumper. I was either one that put it in the barrier. Oh now he's stuck. Keep going. Six. Oh, now this has become the favourite. Crashing place, turn one. So tyres get a bit worn. Six thing you're gonna do it again. <laughs> you are gonna do it again. Your car's broken, mate. He's inspecting the whole barrier in the whole barrier in that section. That's it. I, I still don't understand what happened to the two. Uh, no, to the 17. What was the slow lap? This one. I mean, he's all his laps. So he did a 34-0. And it, in the end, and lap 8, he got to 34-9. But off the bat, I am confu confused how he could put such a quick time in and then be so slow in a race. But sometimes it's just the race pressure gets to you. So what happened this lap? So he is in second at this point. D apologies if we saw this. He's defending again. Maybe too concerned about cars behind him. Ah, oh, so he lets... Oh, it was this so that... Sorry, I thought he was further down the field then when he spun. I don't know how the seven got past because he wasn't the car behind. Oh, he got past here. Eighteen leaves playing a room. Fair play. I can see maybe why now in the context why the seven was upset. Didn't want. But he lost out on that. Oof. Get there. He only came sixth in the end, he didn't come second. So there we go. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> you weren't expecting me to say that, were you? <laughs> no, you were. Uh, yeah. But this car is so much fun to drive, and I, I seem to have a, a handle on it. Unlike other cars. Anyway, let's get the results up. It will go wrong now next week. Let's clear that message. So it was a 1669 strength of field. It's very similar to last week, the two races last week. We were second split this time of nine, not as many, but that's still a lot of people. Well, I said, what, 173 I calculated? Uh, so we might be hitting top split soon if we keep on gaining this sort of I rating, 91 I rating. 
Best that was that three, 103 championship points, which I think is what we got for the previous race. So I'll go and check that. Uh, we didn't get fastest that. The six got that. And he finished way down in 12th. We almost got fastest that. If we hit our pole up, we were doing fastest. But anyway. Uh, so we gained the most I rating. Who lost the most? Well, the 20 didn't turn up. Hopefully it's uh, for legitimate reasons. Sadly, the two went completely wrong, and that's why I was feeling in my race. He started second, finished 19th. That's a 90 high rating loss, but it may give him a good opportunity to win the next race if he does one here. Uh, what high rating can we expect? I suppose he wouldn't say, but we probably would be, top split probably would be. sort of high rating yeah that would now be enough to be top split what was the qualifying times here what did we get a 34 zero yeah um, yeah so we've been there ninth so that would have been quite good on qualifying uh, but we wouldn't have got the points so this is this is the dif difficulty now if you're going for the championship. Uh, had we finished ninth in the race, 92, uh, it's about the same. So there we go. Oh, uh, where? Let me just check results. Yeah, 103, exactly the same. So standings. I don't know if that would have updated yet. There's so many people doing this. I can't see the standings because race is not. Working. We're now up to 200th overall. Oh, it's not count. Oh no, it is counting. Not two weeks. Well, I think we were, might have been on. I can't remember. No, it wasn't this. Is that person on the front page on Division 4? No. A lot of people here done three weeks. Person on the second page in Division 4. I'm not sure if I can keep up a 103 point haul every week. Uh, but that. I don't think I've done a series where I've won two, two races in two weeks. So I'm very happy about that. Where are we going next week? Let's get the schedule up. I can find it. Where's GR Cup? Schedule. So next week, I uh, don't own Twin Ring. Oh, uh, what's. Yeah, I don't want to buy it. Well, we'll see how the mood goes, takes us. So, if failing that, we'll be at Alton Park, which I do know that one. I'm very comfortable and would more than happy to drive more than once <laughs> around there in Alton Park. Anyway, this video has been far too long. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon, and thank you for supporting the channel.